Hey, it's John Siskovich from FarmMarketingSolutions.com, and I'm here on day 57 of my 100 days to sell at my CSA. Now, today is the day before the farmer's market that I'm doing in New Milford, so I had some prep to do. Uh, I had to do, I always, before I have a market or something, have a dry run. Uh, I kind of got that with the Pratt Nature Center event that I went to earlier this month, uh, but I went through and made sure I had all the uh, email sign-up forms, uh, I had all the eggs prepped for tomorrow because I'll be selling eggs and had everything ready to go so that when I went to the farmers market there wasn't as much thought of what am I doing with this, what am I doing with that, where's this thing, it's all set up uh, and things will run smoothly. So <clears throat> big elements that I want to hit at the farmers market tomorrow, selling eggs, selling egg CSA shares and getting people's emails for chicken CSA shares which is what this video series is about. <clears throat> uh, even if I don't get to sign up that day having their email, a way to keep in touch with them and let people know when I have birds available for sale or CSA shares uh, to leave it more vague uh, is really important, really useful when it comes to CSA marketing. So that's the, so I have eggs for sale, selling shares, email sign up, and then a takeaway form uh, that I've talked about in the past, bugs are out, spring, <clears throat> uh, where it has the information on one side and you flip it over and it's a uh, fill in form that they can fill out and mail to me. Uh, something for people to take home, look at the website, check out our social media, and then make a decision on whether or not they want to purchase. And other than that, bringing a smiling face, my daughter's going to be there tomorrow uh, <laughs> to add a little cute to the picture. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, all these videos cataloged on howtostartacsa.com. Uh, and you, yeah, until next time, I'll see you out in the fields. Good luck farm marketing.